basically new 2015 J Flight uh, 184BH here at Haywood RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Um, not only as a Jayco dealer, but as a selling dealer of this trailer, we're quite familiar with it. And if you caught the 2015 in there, you realize this thing's all but brand new. Um, folks bought it here only months ago. Went out, had such a good time, they decided they wanted to go ahead and swap them around already and get something with the slide out. So you're basically getting <laughs> as close to a brand new camper as you possibly can just at a used price tag. So you don't have to worry about that initial, you know, um, depreciation look or anything like that. Nice front window on the front here. That's something that has really faded out quite a bit from the RV industry. Um, mostly because manufacturers weren't building things with a proper front wall structure. Uh, but in a little box like this, that's going to let so much more light in here. It really does make a big difference. You have a big storage pocket right below the dinette here. One of my favorite parts of this thing is that it's minivan towable. It, it weighs just over 2,700 pounds, so you don't need you know the, the big truck to tow this. Now, when you get any of these uh, compact micro campers, a lot of times you start getting everything being smaller, cheaper, not just a lower price tag, but cheaper quality. And you don't find that on these Jayco's. For instance, we have radial tires and we have a galvanized steel wheel well here. So that God forbid if this radial has a blowout, you have a level of protection here from flat tires. The, uh, pardon the tractor noise here. We've got uh, trailers moving all over the place. Spare tire on the back has never touched the ground. Obviously, all the tires look basically brand new since the camper is basically brand new. When you are in the micro camper segment here, uh, a lot of these have a pop-up style bag awning. Uh, J Flights have always had the traditional awning. The roof looks great. Undercarriage looks great. It, I mean, it's super clean. The folks were... were they're very decent people. I'll just kind of phrase it that way. I'm not here to judge, but you know, they were good people. Um, let's step inside here real quick. Close the door behind me. Deadbolt the lock behind me in case someone follows me. And that's a, a little trick I learned a long time ago. It's not fun when you're 15 minutes into a video and somebody pops in. So 100% uh, LED lighting inside. That's another area where these J flights definitely, definitely are supreme in this small camper segment. This is a narrow body camper, by the way. This is seven and a half foot wide, not eight foot wide like a normal travel trailer. What that means in English, it's easier to see around, it's lighter, it's, it's easier to tow and park. This, the, this is a great little camper. Um, you notice we have a, a, a side mount air conditioner here. In these micro campers, most of the time, some of them standard have no air conditioner. Um, you need to check that. The uh, thing is there, when you do add an uh, air conditioner, you get a 5,000 BTU wall mount. Standard in a Jayco is an 8,000 BTU wall mount. It is significantly more powerful, 60% more powerful standard than the optional air that the other guys tend to offer. Also, things like this, extra cabinets uh, uh, above the uh, front dinette here, above the front wall. That's something your, your J-Flights will include that a lot of other manufacturers won't. Um, the uh, dinette table here is totally freestanding. You can move around any way that you please. And, uh, you know, this, this makes it easier so that if you want to slide it over here, slide it over there, take it outside, do whatever you want with it. That can obviously fold down into a sleeper as well. Um, if you are going to sleep extra people in here, there are a pair of bunks behind me we haven't gotten to. But one thing I love to point out in this model is if you take those cushions off, that's plenty for a person to sleep on. You can easily sleep a big tall person or two little kids there without having to worry about, you know, folding down dinettes and things like that. Um, the, uh, let's see, oh, all the original owner's manuals are here and the uh, original bag we give you to keep all of your owner's manuals uh, neat and tidy and in place. Um, let's see here, the uh, refrigerator is a little bit bigger. Uh, a lot of these micro campers have a little two cubic foot pop-up um, refrigerator. This one has a larger, oh, what is that? Three, three and a half ish, something like that. Cubic foot, uh, gas electric refrigerator. So, uh, you know, if you're boondocking or if you're hooked up to park power, you can, uh, you know, keep your, uh, fridge running either way. The kitchen storage space in here is very generous given the small nature of the trailer. You know, this is an awesome little, uh, uh, weekend or week long zip around trailer. And, uh, you know, that's, uh, the folks kind of went out and found themselves going, wow, we're having a really good time. You know, we just we just like a little bit more space. That's all, all there really was to it. Now, this closet right here is convertible. Here, hold on. Let me shed a little light on the subject just a second here. There we go. 
So uh, you see here that you've got a, a nice closet going on here, and, but it's also all adjustable shelving. You can move that around any way that you please. And that's actually a floor to ceiling storage space. Um, over here, you know, I'm just going to leave this light rolling apparently because it's a little dark in this corner. Um, uh, we have a pair of bunks. Previous owners didn't have kids. Um, they just use these bunk spaces for pure storage. Now, uh, something I want to point out here is the fact that these are Denver mattresses. Uh, long story short, the bed bunks in this are 50% thicker uh, in your Jayco's. Anywhere you sleep in a Jayco, they tend to spend the most money. Um, back here, this does have a full bathroom. Some of these micro campers have what's called a wet bath. A wet bath is when the toilet is in the shower and you can pretty much shave, shower, and sit on the toilet all at the same time. That's the three S's. I have just simply phrased it in a more friendly manner. Uh, also, we have both a power, uh, or pardon me, not a power fin, but uh, a vent up here as well as a skylight. Uh, a lot of these micro campers just have a, a vent above the shower, no true skylight. So again, there's a lot of areas, especially the construction. I haven't even talked about the construction. The fact that you can actually walk on and maintain this roof Whereas uh, a lot of these micro campers, you cannot do that. You would just absolutely walk right through the ceiling. Um, actually, if uh, you folks are on YouTube right now or flip over to YouTube, I encourage you to look up Buyer Beware Beer Can Construction. Um, that's a video that I recorded of uh, a, a local brand of trailer that I, I see sold around here. And um, I'm not here to name names. I'm here to educate you. You need to look at how some of these things are built. They are all, they are not built the same. They are not. Uh, that's why I put these videos together because first time campers, you guys don't know what you don't know. And you won't find out until way after you've invested a lot of money. So that's why I put this information out here to try to give you the best information possible before you pull the trigger on something. So give us a call, 800-256-5196. Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, happy camping.